Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really awesome long weekend. So last week we had some pretty heavy inflation data and we did start the week up and we did make all time highs at 503.50. And then on Tuesday we did have hot CPI data and that did bring the market down. Wednesday, Thursday going into PPI, we did go up and PPI did come in hot, which did bring some mixed results into Friday's trading session. And we did end up not making new highs after that. So we did, ultimately we did have a red weekly candle. We did close down 0.50%, VIX closed up 3.16%, and we did trade completely within the implied move on Friday. And with QQQ, we did actually see a pretty sharp rejection right at that CPI gap from this is from Tuesday. So we got slammed down from that level and we did bounce at the bottom of the implied move and then come back up. We were not able to close that gap. Wait, sorry, there was no gap there. <laughs> that was closed right here. But we did not get back into the green and then we dropped back down to the bottom of the implied move. So heavy, heavy inflation data last week and QQQ closed down 0.91%, VXN closed up 4.2%, and here we did almost completely stay within the implied move. There were a few times right here and right here that we popped out, but we did close within. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels. Alright guys, so before we head into tomorrow's trading range, if you find this information useful on a daily basis and it helps you in your trading, then please make sure you give this a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That helps me out more than you know. And let's start with SPY. The implied move tomorrow is between 496 and 502, and that is from options. And then the 30 day average volatility is gonna be a little bit wider, 492 to 506. And to the upside, the first level to look for is gonna be this 35 EMA. We did break through it on Friday at close. We did close under it and cross down Stupid Willy right here. So 35 EMA, which is currently around 500 is the first level to the upside to look for. If we can get above 500, the top of the implied move is at 502, and then all-time highs are just a little above that at 503.50. And then to the downside, we do have 496 as the bottom of the implied move, and then the 30-minute 200 moving average that has been holding us up all year. If we do break underneath it, we do have a level of support right here at 494 and then under that 490. And then switching over to QQQ, the implied move here is between 426 and 434 and that is from options. And then the 30-day average volatility here is 423 to 437. And if you look right here at Stupid Willy, you could see that there's a lot of indecision right here at the 35 EMA. So 35 EMA, that is at 432 to the upside. And then 434 is the top of the implied move. Just above that is the CPI gap that we did get a pretty sharp rejection at. Definitely a known resistance. And then outside of that, all-time highs are completely outside of tomorrow's trading range, 439.14. And then to the downside, we do have that 30-minute 200 moving average. Let's see if that holds first. If it does not, the next level, there is a small support right here at 428. And then the bottom of the implied move at 426 is a support level that has been, this is just under 426, but it was a support level right here and here. So, oh, and here. So 426 possible support in QQQ. 
if that does break, third, uh, the one hour 200 moving average is down at the bottom of the trading range. So I'm definitely excited to see how the trading week starts. Have fun, trade safe, make sure you take profits when you're